No, there's nothing like a good fish story. Even though you know it's a lie, it's fun to hear about the one that got away. Well, right now, Barbara Feldon and I have a fish story for you about the one that didn't get away. <laughs> Yes, dear. How was your fishing trip? A terrific. Did you get anything? Uh-huh. Oh, great. Bring it in the kitchen. We'll have it for dinner. I don't think so, honey. Oh, do you like it well enough to keep it in your trophy room? Like it? I think I'm in love with it. Well, you must have had your hands full getting in the boat. That's not that you should have seen me in the parking lot. Where's what? The fish. Oh, the fish, I put her in a bathtub. Her? Well, how can you tell if a fish is a her? Oh, they got bigger fins. Really? <laughs> how big is it? Oh, about a size 38. Oh, what the fuck is this? Let me see the fish. <laughs> Just a second. <laughs> What's gotten into you? All I want to do is to see the fish. Now get out of the way. I'm going to have a look at it. Oh, oh, oh. What are you doing, honey? I'm leaving you! Well, why? You've brought another woman home and put her in my bathtub! Hey, Ma, that's not a fish. A uh, woman, that's a fish! That's a woman! Well, no, it's a fish! That's a woman with funny feet! <laughs> Believe me, honey, it's a fish. Well, for your information, that fish is putting on lipstick and using my hairspray. Well, maybe she's got a date tonight. Yeah, Charlie the Tuna. Oh, come on, honey, it's the first time I ever caught anything decent. Decent? That's nothing but an underwater go-go dancer. Well, give me a chance, honey. I can explain. No need to explain. I hope you and Esther Williams are very happy. All right, you win. I'll take it back. <laughs> See, honey, I'm getting rid of her. As far as I'm concerned, she can go jump in a lake. Good. 